Joining us now is Ojinika Ojiope with stories trending around the world. Hello, Jinex. Can <laughs> you make it any louder? Good morning, Dr. Abati. How are you? Good morning, Ayo. It's cracking up. I think, I think the introduction should have a show of its own. Of course. Yeah. Before we then Let's have the yeah. yeah. trending. Yeah. Good morning, Rufai. Good morning, Oji. It's called the intro. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Well, good morning to you viewers. Here are some of the stories that are trending across the globe. In Senegal, a court on Monday sentenced two lawmakers to six months in prison for assaulting their pregnant colleague during a parliamentary session. The incident, which occurred on December 1st, 2022, saw Masata Sam, an opposition member of the parliament, walk over to slap the pregnant woman, Amy Gnebi, a member of the ruling Benok Bakya coalition in an altercation over a proposed third term for Macky Sall, the president of the country. The brawl has escalated political tensions in the country, which have gotten worse since the ruling party lost its majority in a July legislative election. In Nigeria, the Lagos State Commissioner of Police, Abiodun Alabi, on Monday, ordered the replacement of all officers attached to the Ajiwe police station in the Aja area of the state following the shooting of Lagos-based lawyer Omobalanle Raim by Officer Drambi Vandi, an assistant superintendent of police attached to the police station. The commissioner has also effected the transfer of all personnel of the division and got replacements from other divisions. Under sports, thousands of mourners began filing past the body of the late football legend Pelé on Monday at the century-old stadium outside Sao Paulo, where he made his hometown team one of the country's best. Pelé died on Thursday, December 29th, after a battle with colon cancer at the age of 82. FIFA president Gianni Infantino has called on countries around the world to name one of their stadiums after the three-time World Cup winner, fondly nicknamed the King of Football. Infantino made the call during the procession, stating that it is the best way to immortalize Pelé, who will be buried today, January 3rd, and his impact on football. On our entertainment, CBS and ITV have released short trailers for the autobiography of the Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry. In the trailer with ITV's Tom Bradby, Prince Harry said he would like to get his father, the King of England, Charles III, and his brother, William, the Prince of Wales, back in his life, but that they have shown absolutely no willingness to reconcile. The prince also said he was betrayed by the royal family in the CBS 60 Minute trailer with Anderson Cooper, who described the upcoming autobiography titled Spare, set to air on January 8th as explosive. When we're being told for the last six years, we can't put a statement out to protect you, but you do it for other members of the family, there becomes a point when silence is betrayal. Finally, Nigerian Grammy Award-winning Afrofusion star Burna Boy has come under fire on social media for insulting the crowd during a concert in Lagos. The singer, who was billed to perform at 9 p.m. on Sunday, January 1st, did not show up for the concert until around 4 a.m. on Monday. Burna Boy admitted that he would not have shown up for the concert if he wasn't persuaded to do so. The 31-year-old singer went on to say that he showed up for the concert out of love for even those accusing him of shooting someone at a Lagos nightclub and for those claiming that his mother once danced for Afrobeat legend, Fela. Well, Rufai, Dr. Abati, Ayo, a lot of uh, mixed reactions have trailed this um, incident that occurred um, January 1st, I believe. But let me read uh, Burner Boy's statement. He released that today. He said, 
On Instagram, Lagos, I love you, but I can't do this again. The organizational structure and infrastructure is not there for the complexities of my audio and production needs. Let's be clear, I wasn't late. My band wasn't late. We pride ourselves on being highly professional, especially with our stage craft. There were three options available to me. Wait for audio to be fixed and delay the show. Come out as planned with no audio or call breach of contract and pull the plug. Burner Boy went on to apologize for the mix-up. But a lot of people has, have said that this apology doesn't cut it. Ayo. Mm -hmm. I, I think the apology is, is, is another slap. You know, already it was a slap on the face of his fans, what he did. Um, I'd opine that he ought to, if he really meant it, he didn't seem very sincere, unfortunately. It looked like something that he's, uh, you know, someone wrote for him after they had read or listened to the backlash following his concert. By the way, it was meant to start at 6 p.m. He started at 9 p.m. And then he came on at 3 a.m. for a one-hour um, slot. He, he's explained the reason why he came out late. But, um, OJ, this is quite unfortunate because um, for a number of people who spoke about this, it is that consistently they've complained about how Nigerian artists who tour around the world mm -hmm. and behave properly come home to Nigeria where they were possibly made or where they have the great, this is their home. And his mom said famously, at the Grammys that no matter where you go to, Africa is still home. So that much respect should be given to your homegrown fans and not act as if it's a favor or you're doing people a favor by coming home to come and perform, which his opening remark, opening statement seemed like. Now, Burner Boy is, um, he has said that, oh, they accused his mom, they accused him of doing X, Y, Z. But it doesn't take away the fact that the first thing he ought to have done when he went on stage at 3 a.m. for a 6 p.m. show was to give an apology to the fans who didn't come to watch Wonder X or Oli Sadibwa or any of the organizers but Burner Boy. So it was Burner Boy on stage, his name was the headliner, and ironically, the title of the concert was Lagos Loves Damini. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't think Lagos <laughs> is loving you right now, you know, following that concert. He ought to ap apologize and just owned it, and then later on explain why he came out the way he did. Do you know another funny thing is that when you, when you behave like this, it takes away from your, you know, some, some of your glory moments. For instance, only recently this year, Rolling Stone named only he and Fela Nicola Pokuti as the greatest singers of all time. Absolutely. 200. No one is talking about that. That should be making headlines. But guess what we're talking about? His bad behavior. We're not looking at his talent or his achievements, but just that he really messed up and messed up with his fans. Very yeah, that, unfortunate. That, that should have been making headlines at this point. But um, Rufai, Bonner Boy cited a lot of things, especially the complexity of our mm. infrastructure. He talked about his audio not being ready. I mean, I would think that usually people would do a sound check or, uh, you know, an audio check before a concert. I'm not quite sure what he means by that, but I guess he can explain further. Mm. But he also, I mean, what do you make of the apology? He actually said he apologized for how hectic it was. The apology is an apology itself. Terrible. We love Bella Boy. He made us proud. He won Grammy. We are happy about him. But when you make mistakes in apologizing, you don't cast blames. You take full responsibility. Because people that bought tickets for over 30,000 Naira or 30,000 Naira to go see you were not there for any other person, part of the organizing team. It was for you. So you take responsibility. And whoever advised him to write that apology should withdraw that statement mm. now and make a proper apology and say, sorry, Lagos, I am sorry for all that happened, and I will give you a free show at a later date. That's all you should say. And his management should step in. His mother should call him to her. You don't do what you have done. You went on stage, you were saying all sorts. Are you the under, under the influence of what? Can you go and do that to foreign crowds? You are a shining beacon of hope in music. We appreciate you so much. So this is beneath you. Concerning the point he made, is an excuse. Other people did shows. Ashake. Whiskey, all of them have done shows. You know that there are infrastructural inefficiencies which we can develop. But for this, you take full responsibility. It's right. as simple as that. All right, and you have a right to do a free show for the people that they didn't enjoy. It's just the sad part that most of the people that you have done free show for now 
will have gone abroad because most of them are returnees that came abroad. But just take responsibility when you are wrong and keep it moving. Simple as ABC. I like that. Dr. Bati. Okay. Thank you. My other life, I used to teach performance. I used to teach production. And what we tell the students is that the show must go. Yes, no. No matter what happens. If you advertise a show, you say it's 8 o'clock, you say it's 7 o'clock. At 7 o'clock, you must be available. If there is any extenuating circumstance, for whatever reason, the show must go on. Molière was on stage. He was bereaved. He continued to, to act. He didn't betray until the end of the show. So artists are not expected to give excuses. So when Bonaboy says uh, he's highly professional and all that, we're part of that professionalism. Includes show up when you are required to do so. So the excuse uh, that he has given now will come to that. But this is a show that was supposed to start at 7 p.m. and end at 11 p.m. It was timed. And then you didn't show up until 3 a.m., 4 a.m. And you said, oh, you have been around since uh, uh, 9 a.m. Okay, why don't you just come on stage and just improvise and let the show uh, continue? That's one. The second point here is that in Africa, we tend to take each other for granted. And that is the if he goes to perform at right? the O2 Arena or he goes to uh, Washington, he will not behave the same way. Mm -hmm. And isn't this typical of Africans? You know, we tend to downgrade uh, ourselves. You know, we don't respect each other uh, well enough. And our leaders, too, set that kind of bad example. What they will not do on the streets of London, they will try it here uh, with us. So is the African syndrome, or what you call African time, when they say a musician should show up at uh, 7 p.m., he comes at 4 a.m. and he's saying, well, it's because I love you, otherwise I will not have shown up. <laughs> <laughs> what arrogance. <laughs> now, number three, he blamed the organizers. Mm. That show was put together by a group called Wonder X. And he said that the infrastructure was not in place. The audio, he said, was bad. You know, the arrangement was shoddy. So in other words, he couldn't compromise his standards, right? I hope that Wonder X will come forward and also explain precisely yes. what happened. Because Wonder X, the organizers of Absolutely. the show, also have no, you know, uh, excuse to be sloppy, to be disorganized, and to disappoint the various people who are paid between 100,000 and 30,000 uh, naira. Now, what is the fourth point? The fourth point here is that one of the things we teach our students is that Artists don't, be, don't have to be good men mm. or good women. They should just produce good art. Okay? After all, Joe Alton was a thief. You know, many other artists who produced great literature, you know, were criminals or one way or the other. But, you know, that, that's for the classroom. The truth of the matter is that artists should behave well in the arena of uh, performance. That's but all of this will not take away from uh, the genius of uh, Bonaboy, who has been... Uh, you know, a Grammy Award winner, who is an Afrobeat superstar, who has also uh, made uh, Barack Obama's uh, playlist. Yes. And has appeared in most of the, uh, you know, great uh, shows uh, across the world. And truly a treasure to Nigeria. But if we can add to that genius, <laughs> good conduct. Uh, absolutely. When he's required to uh, show up, that would be nice. In fact, well said, it will take his genius to a higher level. Absolutely. All right. Thank you all for your Thank great you. analysis as always. That's all I have for you on What's Trending today. I'll see you all tomorrow.